Alright, so Octave Paladins, thought I'd go over some replays that I have been saving up. I'll start off with the SBG replays I have here. There might be some little weird irregularities since these were recorded in previous uh, uh, versions of the game, which I don't keep all those different versions, so I just replay these and just replay on this one, like tanks are elevated above the ground, but this is just an SBG I just wanted to show. I jump to the last part of this game where I just do a blind shot for the last kill, just guessing at the possible location of uh, where they could be hiding. Go ahead and start this up here. Okay, so there's one SBG left. And I just guess so, maybe he's over in these bushes over here. Enemy vehicle destroyed! And got it. shot. Alright, so then uh, let me go ahead and load up the next replay here. Uh, and this, That was way back in January. That was January 1st that was done. Uh, 2014. And I have a, uh, another one I titled it's a nice five shot for penetration for for kill SPG match. I'm not sure what that meant at the time. Or now time I probably understood it, but I can't decipher my own title right there. So let me go ahead and uh, uh, load that one up. Get out of this one. And we'll load up the next replay here. I'll have another blind shot of an S uh, SPG match after after this uh, episode. I'll try to keep this down 15, 20 minutes since I'm doing this a local recording. I don't have a whole lot of hard drive. Let's space. get this show on the road. Go ahead and turn that down there. It's really loud. Let me skip forward and see uh, the action here. There's a bunch of uh, I don't know if it's the uh, old version that's causing a lot of the jumps or, or what. You really have to be patient and pick your shots with these long reload SVGs like the team. All depending on your crew skills and uh, equipment.
between reloads, I'll go ahead and skip forward some to save time. not using any XVM mod like this one here. Uh, I don't understand this this mod. It's, I, I wish they had a legend to tell you what all the colors and icons and things mean. I, I even went to the website. It doesn't even explain those things. But I guess you have to delve into the actual config files and figure it out yourself, which is, in my opinion, uh, not very uh, helpful, of course. It's just it seems like it'd be if it was an actual paid for product, not customer, customer, good customer service. Enemy armor is destroyed. If you're gonna make something, you just provide a legend to what all the things. Mean. I have no idea what stars next to people or next to the names are, next to the different colors of the of the tanks. Uh, I guess I'm guessing how blue is uh, tank destroyer. Just looking at uh, what is that peach or whatever color, pink color. I'm trying to figure that out. I have really no idea right now of the heavy tanks. I don't know. And from my what I understand, the different colors of the names from deep red to green or something. It's they're, they're the better players, but purple as a as a player team, I have no idea. Here's another little uh, tip for you tankers out there. Enemy There's a nice uh, move hit there. A uh, little tip for you when your SBG players, uh, you know, we're trying to communicate to you. Pay pay attention to the chat and to the icons of the tanks you're fighting. If you see that that flashing uh, upside down chevron blinking above a tank and you're near it. That means that SBG is ready to fire on it. Do your SBG guy a, fa a favor and back off a bit so you don't get hit and make a fire. Alright, so there's that one. That was a nice one with a bunch of hits there. And so let's see this one blind shot. I'll go ahead and load that one up. We'll be right back with that one. Okay, so draw five kills, Artie versus Artie, and uh, my T92. Fortunately, since they were really slow, and I couldn't find, I had a, 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 an idea of where the other artillery was at the end. Um, but so with just a long re uh, load timer, we really can't afford to waste. Go ahead and skip forward. Get into position. Okay. So here we are already shooting. And uh I don't let's see, I don't have any hits yet or kills yet. Looking at this replay, it would have been nice if I had gone with the group to the left in the top there, because then I would have been able to hit all those tanks together there.
skipping forward ahead in time. Still don't have any kills on the board yet, just uh, maybe some close hits or splash damage. Never played World of Tanks before, uh, and you know about uh, the uh, or Thunder's uh, ground forces that's still in beta. Just uh, know that they're different games with arcade and arcade style versus maybe a little more realistic. There is a more of an advanced mode with the uh, War Thunder ground forces, so that a little more you know, harder and realistic. Different, whole different kinds of ways, different ways of playing the two different games. Uh, and if you're going to play in artillery in World of Tanks, you have to get to know how the shell will land based upon uh, the terrain that you're aiming as well, and your elevation as well, versus the terrain you're, you're aiming at. You want to get the circle as small as possible. If you're mostly uh, shooting medium and close range and the ground is pretty level, you're going to have this kind of, kind of, sort of an oval or ellipse like there. And if you're uh, maybe higher level, a higher elevation, and you're shooting at a pretty good, decent angle, you'll have more, uh, and more of a flat terrain you're aiming on, it'll be more of a circle. It will also uh, conform to the terrain that you're aiming at. So if you have a dip in, in the terrain, you'll have one side of the oval kind of stretched out like here you can see, and maybe another part on the other side is stretched out, and then the middle will be the bottom, like if you're shooting at a gully. So it could land uh, either on the uh, inward or outward slope, so you'll have to just kind of get to uh, know that with experience. And once again, at the time that I was playing this, I was not using any any mods uh, other than maybe a sound. No visual mods at all. I only recently installed this XBM, uh, well, maybe a couple of weeks ago. If I had been using the XBM, XBM mod at that time with the last known location, I would have seen where that uh, artillery was last seen, I believe. Uh, I believe during the game it was somewhere around the G1 through 4 area, and uh, also the um, tank destroyer was there, and I think I was trying to do a, a guess here what the tank destroyer was. And there I, there I go. Blind shot. I did not include that in the title to remind me, so 
There was a blind shot. Blind shot on the tank destroyer. Here we're down to just team tank and myself, the other tank destroyer and the uh, SPG. Fortunately, I wasn't able to help this guy out. Time. I figure I'm going to back up here and try to be ready. Maybe I'll get a good shot in, I don't know. Good shot there. Seven nine points off. Now it's surprising that the artillery. Yeah, I see that. That's the artillery firing there. I guess he wasn't actually guessing or following. And we didn't have enough time for me to the artillery. I could have tried a blind shot at the, at the, at the uh, ledge. Really didn't know if it was there or not. I'll I'll push forward in time here. I'll travel all the way down the. And apparently. He probably was up there because he actually will fire at the NPC, but I still don't see him. So I'm thinking he was up on the ledge at uh, like G or, or F4 behind bushes, so I never saw him. He missed me, but I have no idea where he is. Apparently, no one on the team either, because I wasn't notified of where they thought he would be. But eventually, time ran out, and it was a draw. I probably should have tried to shoot up there at the at the uh, ridge over there. I'm surprised I didn't even see them though, even, even this close. I, there's, I don't think there's any bushes that could have hit them at this angle. I will never know. So I'll just go ahead and pause it there because it just runs out of time and then it's a draw. Alright, stay tuned for the next SBG uh, match with uh, my M41. I uh, the match at the end in an unconventional way. Alright, so here we have uh, a tier 5 uh, match with my M41 American SPG. This was a 
very close match, and uh, I happened to win it. I don't think I probably would have survived without uh, the small winner, as you'll see at the end. Based upon the remaining hit points of the enemy, that really might not have made a difference. During the replay, sometimes the uh, targeting isn't exactly how it is in game. It shows a red line there, which you shouldn't be able to go through, but uh, it actually should be green while in the game. There's another request I have of players that really don't think about what they're doing when they're playing. Is, is, uh, especially when you get to these middle higher tiers, you should have played this, uh, what is this, a uh, Ruinberg map enough to know that if you don't clear a uh, small village side, then the other side can uh, flank you. They come right through this village and they can come right around and come around behind you. And there's like the majority of the time, most teams do not give enough or any support to this side. Uh, and it's really frustrating, especially when you were playing PG. Because then you're, you're just so nervous that uh, you're going to be flanked and there's nothing you can do about it. No, and everybody's not even paying attention to what's coming up behind them. Do not get. Pay attention to your map, pay attention to your chat, help your teammates.
Now see here, I tell this guy to fall back. If he was back up into the building there, I could have probably got this T-49. But I took the, took the shot because he wasn't moving. I, just, I needed more, more free room to fire, so I just fired from one I could. Now this M7 feet, what he's been doing, he's been sitting there the entire time, he's got one I don't know how much damage he did. It doesn't look like the great there, but uh, he doesn't seem to really tension. And he doesn't really to really seem to try to get to a defensive position. He could have moved next to the building uh, that has the line marker behind it, so he can't be flanked from behind. As he says, "What now?" Yeah, but he's, it sounds like he seems like he's inexperienced. So I'm hiding behind a bush, and I'm just basically using him as my spotter. Get miss, and yeah, well, I figure, well, uh, I'm gonna try to ram him. And win. Alright, so stay tuned for the next one. I don't quite understand my own title here. I put to uh, save this replay, SBG times 2 good win. So stay tuned for the M41 Monastery replay. Find out uh, what I meant by that.